Hello students. Well now that we have the um, equation of motion for a simple harmonic motion, uh, this mass spring model, um, I just want to show you um, real quickly what the solution is going to look like. So um, what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to divide um, the ODE by the mass, uh, each term in the ODE by the mass, so that'll leave us with, with x double prime plus k over m times x equals zero. And then once we have that ODE, I'm just going to write the characteristic equation. Um, so remember that the exponent matches the order of derivative, so r squared. And then the exponent here is 0 because this is the 0th derivative. We're not taking a derivative. So we have r squared plus k over m. I subtract k over m on each side. So I get a minus k over m. Then I take the plus square root. And remember, because this is an r squared term, we're going to get a plus or minus because the square is going to it's ambiguous. Um, the square is going to eat the plus or minus. And this negative sign gives us a square root of negative 1, so that becomes i. And then um, I'm going to let omega equal the square root of k over m. And uh, because this is um, an imaginary uh, root, um, the uh, real part is 0. Um, we don't get an exponential term, so you don't get exponential growth or decay in, as a coefficient in front of this expression. You're just left with the um, cosine of omega t plus the uh, sine of omega t, and of course you have some arbitrary constants, which would be determined by your uh, initial conditions. So you see that you get um, cosines and sines for your answer, and hence that's why Oftentimes we like to, instead of leaving this as a complex exponential, we like to write these solutions in terms of cosines and sines. And we expect there to be cosines and sines because if we go back to the um, motion here of the block oscillating up and down, it's periodic, right? So eventually it's going to come back to this position again. And that periodic motion as it moves around the circle, um, this green dot represents the screen dot, um, that is um, oscillatory behavior and sines and cosines, of course, capture that oscillatory behavior. Okay, so that's just a quick derivation of the um, solution for this uh, simple harmonic motion, this uh, rather simple mass spring model. Okay, good luck.